Hi everybody, it's Wednesday, March 19th, 2008. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit today about the economy, first of all. Uh, it looks like the economy is continuing to uh, do worse. The stock market is continuing to devaluate. Um, the dollar is continuing to lose its value. Uh, we've had a major bailout for Bear Stearns recently and it looks like that has uh, propped up the stock market uh, for uh, a little bit longer but I think it's quite clear to anyone who's paying attention that this is just the start of a long decline and uh, most likely a depression it's quite likely that the dollar will continue to lose value until it collapses completely. Um, you know, it just would not make sense for the economy to recover at this point, in my opinion, because everything is uh, crooked. It's all based on uh, lies and uh, nonsense. Over 70% of our economy, our gross, natural, uh, gross national product, is consumption that means that we're not producing very much uh, we're consuming we're not giving other countries raw materials or manufactured goods or foodstuffs or even labor we are giving them paper and in return we're getting all those things we're getting manufactured goods we're getting foodstuffs we're getting uh, uh, raw materials we're even getting labor uh, you know, we're, we're just importing everything and in return we're giving them these Federal Reserve notes and the Federal Reserve note is not backed by a commodity or a uh, resource or a precious metal. A Federal Reserve note is a piece of paper that says I owe you one dollar. Now, uh, of course they're trying to devalue the dollar, or they, they were trying to devalue the do dollar originally because that means we owe other countries less. You know, we gave them a note that said, I owe you a dollar. Uh, so, you know, obviously if that dollar is worth less, then that means they have to pay less when it you know, actually comes time to pay uh, our debts. Uh, but uh, I don't think it's going to work out very well. I, th I don't think they can control the devaluation of the dollar. I don't think that they can uh, control the devaluation of the stock market. Uh, when other countries realize that we don't have any uh, intention of paying, uh, those dollars are going to become very worthless. And when that happens, there's going to be a lot of trouble. Just think about it. I mean, you know, we get everything... Uh, you know, almost everything we get is from overseas. What happens if they no longer want to do business with us? What happens if you can't buy any more Japanese TVs or, uh, you know, food from other countries or any of the other things that we get? Well, you know, this country might be a third world country overnight. You might see all the stores running out of goods and, and getting nothing to replace them with might see a lot of people going hungry so that's you know that's something to think about uh, you know just pay attention to the news and pay attention to what's going on with the stock market and with the economy and I guarantee you you will see a continued decline you will see a de continued devaluation uh, I don't want this to happen personally I would love to see everything just shoot back up in value and everything be you know fine and uh, you know, no worries from here on out. That would be wonderful, but that's not going to happen. Uh, you know, I've never been one to believe in things simply because I want to believe in them. So as much as I would like to believe that we don't need to work for a living, instinctively I know we do. Instinctively I know we can't, as a nation, sit on the couch and just put everything on our credit cards for the rest of our lives. It's going to catch up with us, and it's going to catch up with us very quickly. And again, uh, for any of you out there who have been watching my videos, you know I'm a big Ron Paul supporter. And uh, in the media, 
they talk about these things a little bit, although they won't tell you the, the reasons. They won't tell you the story behind the story. They'll tell you what's going on to a certain extent. But they always say, hey, the economy looks like it might be in trouble. I wish that one of the presidential candidates would talk about this. Well, gee, uh, Anderson Cooper, I think you know who's been talking about this the whole time. This entire time, Ron Paul has been talking about these very things. He's been warning us about this. He's been talking about the economy. You know, the man's not just a constitutional scholar and a medical doctor. He's also a very respected student of economics. You know, yeah, he's not an economist. He doesn't have a degree in economics or anything like that, but he is an expert. He has done a lot of studying over the, you know, over the years, and he has become quite astute, and people recognize that in the business. There's a lot of People, uh, you know, in the business, a lot of econ economists who uh, point to Ron Paul as uh, an authority. And he's been telling us about this. So, you know, look, I know all you people, you think that uh, the nomination is over and John McCain is, is, is the nominee. Well, you know, you don't have to choose him. You don't have to choose John McCain to, uh, you know, go against Hillary, I can tell you right now, he's not going to beat Hillary. He's not going to beat Obama. There's just no way. But you don't need to go with him. You don't need to choose uh, McCain. You don't need to choose Obama. You don't need to choose Clinton. There's a candidate who's still in this race, who's still running, who knows exactly what's going on with the economy and knows exactly what we need to do to fix it. Uh, you know, he also knows exactly what's going on with our Constitution, and he knows how to get us back on a sound uh, footing with our civil liberties, uh, you know, with our, our uh, freedoms, with our American heritage. So, uh, you know, I appeal to all of you, if you don't want to live in a police state, and you don't want to be homeless, and you don't want to be jobless, Maybe you should start thinking about Ron Paul. You know, it doesn't matter if he wins. Vote him in, you know. At least your one vote, write in Ron Paul. Write his name on the ballot if you have to. And if anything bad happens, you know, if they vote John McCain in and we become a military dictatorship with uh, a collapsed economy, you don't have to be one of the people that's to blame, you know. You could be one of the people that can say, well, I did my part. I voted right. I voted the right way. So don't look at me. <laughs> if you don't vote for Ron Paul, you know, you can't say that. You will have wasted your opportunity and wasted your chance to, uh, you know, vote for the man who really wants to save this country and really cares more about this country you know, at a time when that is considered naive and foolish. And, you know, most of the people in Washington, they don't care about this country. They just care about getting what they can get before the whole thing collapses. And, you know, they're, they're very cynical and they've given up. They, don't, they just don't think that it matters anymore, that they can do anything. Well, Ron Paul still believes that he can do something for this country. And if enough of us still believe that we can do something for this country by voting the right way, you never know. He just might win this thing. So, anyway, that's uh, my two cents for today. And uh, thanks for watching.